Hang on there, Traveler. You'll want to steer clear of this place. The whole town's irradiated to high hell. Head north toward Novak. Look for a big dinosaur. Can't miss it. Because it's a far safer place to be than here. The Rangers at Echo have been keeping an eye on that place. It's relatively new, but those bastards have already dug in. They appear to be running a slave trading operation, and it also seems to be one of the primary crossing points for Legion raiding parties. If you could scout out the camp, bring back any intel on troop movement or plans for future raids, the Rangers could put that information to good use. Also, if you're any good at covert ops, I would love to get a bug planted on their radio. So far, we've been unable to crack their encryption. What? How'd you pull it off? A single man slaughters an entire camp of legionaries? I'm amazed. It took everything we had in the last battle at the dam to stand against those brutes. You're a beast, son. You've done a fine job, friend. Here's a little something for your work. Sir? They say those robots on the strip are running around with different faces or something. Don't ask, because I don't know. Hey, man, what's happening? Uh, it was dark. I, I, I can't remember. Uh, I, uh... Well, there was this guy, and, uh... Then... Oh, hey, do you have any Nuka-Cola? Okay, okay. Uh, it was dark, and this guy went running out of the town with one of the kids, uh, uh, thrown over his, uh, what do you, what do you call it? Oh, oh, yeah, his shoulder. He was carrying the kid off to the west of town. I passed out after that. I think I'm gonna pass out again. Hey there. I see you found Thomas. I'm afraid he was unwilling to accept the truth. His death was a necessity. I assume you must be some manner of hired gun. Are you here to enact justice? What would a smooth skin like you know about justice? While they were obstinate at first, they came to see the light. And they'll be happy to make your acquaintance.
Watch out for Legion assassins. Fuckers pop up at the worst times. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? Not I've my seen problem. Worse things happen to better people. I hope you didn't just bring a heap of trouble down on Good Springs by killing Joe Cobb like that. His friends might come looking for him, and I don't think they're gonna care who was involved in his death or not. Well, what's done is done. So, uh, what can I do for you? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. All right. Be careful out there. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of Caravan? You know how to play? Uh, thanks, I guess. Cobb wasn't the problem, though. I could have handled him if he ever found me. Cobb's friends are the bigger problem. And when he doesn't get back, they'll be coming here for blood. There's no way I can fight them all. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps, but you get me out of this and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. I won't let you stick your neck out for free. I can't pay you back now, but I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays up. You've got my word. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... I was thinking of myself, actually. Who's gonna watch my back while I'm watching yours? Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. I don't think Joe Cobb knew what hit him. I'm hoping you took him down for a good reason and not for fun. Say no more. I'm in. Even though Joe Cobb's dead, his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. I'll be waiting.
So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. Not my problem.
Somebody told me a nest of death claws lives on a ridge across the river. Probably just bullshit. Take him out. Can't run from me. Fine. I'll sit tight. Evening. Holy shit! here after all. What was that? Whatever. I've got better things to do. Hey. Holy shit!
Had enough? Lead on. I've got your back. Eat this! That's the way. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Well, I'm Deputy Beagle, and I'm being held hostage. Can you imagine? I'd be most grateful if you would set me free. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Then I'll defer to your superior appraisal of character and prowess in contests of arms, and see you outside.
swift and silent. Watch out! Get ready to taste some real. Eat this! Eat this. You like that? I've got you now. You like that? What the fuck? You're mine. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation, not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. Yeah! Happy trails, partner. Hey there. Did you find out who took the children? Outstanding job. I hate zombies, particularly one that's a self-righteous child killer. Here's a bonus for killing that freak. There's another contract ready, and it pays well, my friend. Ready to get after it? Good. This is another investigation, and our client is willing to cough up mucho dinero to see this thing resolved. Folks have been disappearing on the road south to the Mojave Outpost. For the longest time, people attributed it to the Rad Scorpions, but our client is beginning to suspect human involvement. The abductions are strange. There is little theft of property and never any ransom notice. Several of the missing wastelanders mention their search for a reputed oasis in the Mojave, which is pure horseshit. In all likelihood, these are probably just natural casualties of the wasteland. Regardless, our client wants results. Good luck.
Hello, traveler. Welcome to my humble abode. Please help yourself to the food. You must be famished. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Mago, at your service. I'm doing this because I've suffered the unforgiving trials of the waste. I have felt terrible, crippling hunger that pushes a man beyond reason. I discovered this shelter in one of my countless peregrinations, and in the course of time I've set out to create an oasis of philanthropy. Oh, stop it, you're too kind. Please, enjoy a hot meal. It's the least I can do. When you're ready to leave, just speak over the intercom. I hope you enjoy the rest, friend. What can I do for you? You've been an exceedingly amicable guest, but I'm afraid I cannot meet your request. I have other plans, you see. Ah, you are awake. You're even more vigorous than I had anticipated. Very good. You're in a cell in my bunker. I'm afraid this is the end of the line, my friend. It's a matter of survival, really. What can I say? The Wasteland really brings out that war of all against all quality. Well, you possess copacetic powers of observation. Yes, I'm a cannibal and a long-lived one, thank you. I'm rather proud of that fact. Ooh, lively, very lively. Get in some exercise, but please, don't strain yourself. It can alter the flavor of the meat, making it... unsavory. Now just behave yourself a few minutes. I'll return shortly. Nothing. Ain't this a bitch? Can't run from me. It's gonna hurt you, and you're gonna like it.
I don't understand the fuss over Sunset Sarsaparilla. Tastes like rancid fruit to me. Hey there. Did you find out who's behind the disappearances? Kidnapping cannibal, you say? Shit, that's a surprise. Most of the cannibals around here have been put out of business by the NCR. Anyway, here's your reward. Excellent work. I've got a lucrative bounty if you're ready for work. How about it? That's not offensive. Someone putting a 12 gauge up your ass and pulling the trigger. Now that's offensive. I once saw a zombie do that to one of my friends, so it left a strong impression. Don't get me wrong, I've met some square ghouls like Doc Friday and... Well, let, let me think. I, I'm sure there are others. I'll get back to that. Anyway, the incident I'm referencing happened over 10 years ago. Me and my partner James were tracking a bounty in New Mexico. We were unfamiliar with the territory, and eventually some ghouls got the jump on us. I was wounded, and James was green, so it went bad. They were a collection of ghoul fanatics from some reservation, and they took us captive after the firefight. Their leader was a ghoul named Phillips. Ray Phillips, that's it. I think he had relatives back east. Anyway, old Ray took special pride in making us smooth skins suffer. He said he would use the five pains method on us. He started with James, cutting off his nose, his hand, and then a foot. Ray was going to cut him in half, but James called him a zombie cunt. Ray didn't appreciate the label, so he responded by shoving his shotgun into James and pulling the trigger. Now, how I got away is an interesting story since, god damn it, look at the time, I've got to finish this typing, and you've got me distracted. Are you ready to work or not? Good. This next contract has some significant risks, but a hefty payday to match it. Your target is a gunslinger known simply as Jack. Our client hasn't given us much to work with, but it doesn't matter. Jack used to be the chief gunman for Heck Gunderson, and managed the muscle in Gunderson's operations. When I said he managed the muscle, I mean he pretty much was the muscle. Jack intimidated countless landowners into selling their property. Along the way, Jack managed to rack up a significant body count. Over the years, he became more and more ruthless. Recently, Jack shot up a farmer and his wife, so Mr. Gunderson quickly cut all ties with his pistolero. Now, Jack is just another gun for hire. Without Gunderson to protect him, though, Jack is fair game. He's made plenty of enemies, and they all want to see him dead. Last I heard, he had drifted into Good Springs, hoping to get work with the locals. Jack is as fast as they come, so be ready, kid. Good luck. <laughs>